basically you have two different ports. You have um, the larger and some of the stations have the smaller. Mm -hmm. And basically you just plug it in. There is a nozzle that you pull back and then you just lift the lever on the pump, kind of like whenever you're getting gas at the station when you mm -hmm. lift up and then it just fills itself up till it mm -hmm. gets, you know, the pressure builds up to, should be between 35 and 3600 on the CNG trucks and then it automatically shuts itself off just like your car does, you know, the pump that your car does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, is it a case where you have to wear gloves? I usually do just mm -hmm. um, because um, one, you don't know who's touched the pump before you. And <laughs> number two, you know, um, it does get cold when it's going through there. So you don't want to take a chance of getting, you know, like frostbite or anything mm -hmm. on your hands. And, or if you have a failure with the handle and it comes loose, you know, getting it on your hands and getting burnt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you've got your four, I call them scuba tanks, right. right? So they're basically huge versions. And then you can actually see, you know, you just got a connector from each one of them, these yellow lines. Mm -hmm. So you have individual shutoff valves for each uh, tank. Here's the fourth one down here. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you have your ability to defuel it if you need to, mm -hmm. um, and then to vent, and then you've got another set of pressure gauges. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, you know, it's all pretty, pretty nice equipment here, bill of aluminum, all that. So very durable and mm -hmm. uh, very easy to use. Mm -hmm. And it's a case where then uh, these systems are, are monitored uh, remotely yeah i mean the whole truck will be monitored remotely mm -hmm. so uh, everything from the diagnostic trouble codes on the system for maintenance to performance uh kpis from a fuel economy and performance perspective uh, that will all be able to be uh, monitored remotely by the fleet manager mm -hmm. okay now one of the questions that's sometimes asked is well how safe is this right mm -hmm. i mean like you know we're switching from having a diesel liquid tank to now having pressure tanks mm -hmm. The statistics actually show that this is a lot safer than just even uh, diesel fuel on a truck. And mm -hmm. uh, the safety parameters that have been in place have been, you know, well thought through, uh, you know, very well done. It, you can see some of the uh, the red nozzles up there at the top. Mm -hmm. It actually has a feature where if it senses there is an issue, mm -hmm. it'll actually start gassing off the tanks and depressurizing mm -hmm. them uh, so you don't have that that uh, threat of having, you know, a, a pressure vessel. They're, they're encased in a rubber sheath. Okay. Um, so, okay. Yeah. So pretty, you know, because there, there's a decent amount of pressure that they mm -hmm. sustain. But the biggest challenge, as Thomas mentioned too, you know, with the earlier systems was weight. Right. So you, you know, while you do get that two thousand pound weight credit, you still need to be conscious of that for the whole system. So mm -hmm. you know, I know these guys, Momentum, and the others in the industry are constantly working to refine their systems to strip weight out, maintain that safety, uh, improve efficiency. So considerable weight loss then compared to say maybe some of the older systems. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what has allowed them to go to much more storage on a truck. Like I think mm -hmm. years ago it would be you'd have you know, 60 gallons of uh, of storage. You know, mm -hmm. this setup here is 175 gallons equivalent mm -hmm. of storage. Yeah. Yep. Okay. The technology marches forward, so they're mm -hmm. always working on it. Mm -hmm. And that enables what your uh, thousand mile uh, plus plus range then. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that fully loaded? You, you estimate uh, so eighty thousand pounds. Uh, that's with a, a load. You'd be able to do the uh, the hundred the thousand miles plus range, not bobtail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs>